My name is Shelby Graziani. And my name is Andrea Serna. My name is Ryan Karik. I'm a senior at MOA. I'm a senior at MOA. Uh, this is my senior year, so I'm in 12th grade. I've been at MOA since freshman year, and it's now my senior year, and I've loved every second of it. Shelby, tell me how you got into the MOA program in the first place. What draw you, drew you here? Um, it started off in middle school. I didn't get a chance to be a part of the pre-MOA program. There is a middle school MOA. So once I found out that in eighth grade I could apply to be a part of the Marine Oceanographic Academy, I jumped right on it. I was so excited. I've always had a love for the ocean and the environment. How many years have you been in the MOA program? Uh, I've been here all four. Andrea, how'd you get into this to the MOA program at all? Um, I had heard about it. My mom had actually heard about it, and I actually I really I didn't want to go to MOA, but so my mom told me. You know, go the first semester, and if you don't like it, you can switch to another high school. I was like, okay. Uh, within like the first nine weeks, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's an amazing school. I didn't really want to do marine oceanographic, but you know, you just kind of you just really fall in love with it. It's an amazing opportunity. And how did you get into the MOA program? I got into the MOA program when my seventh grade science teacher, who won some, teacher of the year, told me in seventh grade that there was this program at uh, in a high school where I would learn sciences and I would be in a really cool place surrounded that I would actually get to learn and do field work as opposed to just sitting in a classroom all day every day. Tell me about what you guys did today out here. Oh, today was really a lot of fun. It was pretty cold, but we had a few people that got down in the water for us and what we did is we, we go out and survey the ponds that we have here and we just kind of um, take measurements of the sediments and we put percentages to what kinds of coarseness we have and we test the pH of the water, the temperature, the wind, what the, what the cloud weather conditions are all about, and we just kind of monitor throughout the whole year. We come back four times a year and see the different changes between seasons at the pond. We're actually a little bit excited about it this time because a few months ago they, they put in like 3,000 fingerling fish so that at some point they'll, they'll be feeding for, it'll set up its own. So we were excited yeah. to have you guys come because mm -hmm. it's the first time that you've been here since the fish have been here. So exactly. did you see anything? Um, personally, I wasn't surveying how, how much animal life was going on, but yeah, we did see um, a few little sp a few fish species. Um, we did see a, our first time ever seeing a soft-shelled turtle. Have you seen any changes? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, the first time there wasn't a lot out here, but now that this is the third time I've been out here, there's a lot more out there. I noticed the water clarity was nice, the, the plant vegetation had grown a little more, the water was a lot clearer, it was just... It looked healthier. It's exciting to kind of be a part of an experiment. I think it's it's not just us going out and doing stuff just to learn. It's like actually making a difference and actually learning data and actual recording of data that is basically like real science. And what happens for you after this, after school this year? Okay, well I am a senior this year. Um, I plan on pursuing a degree in civil environmental engineering. So I hope to work with renewable energy and I'm really, really excited for that. And where do you think it's going to take you having done this? Um, we do so many science courses and so many different labs and stuff. I want to go into the medical field so it's really opened my eyes into the science community and that kind of side of it. Do you think that having a chance to learn hands-on during the past few years and having a chance to come out and listen to people who are doing that, do you think that helps form maybe not the idea of who you want to be and where you want to go, but do you think it sort of helps give it a little bit more uh, structure? Oh, definitely, definitely. I feel like not only having a hands-on experience, but knowing what scientists actually do, it's, it's helped me learn what being a scientist is going to be like and whether or not I actually want to do it. For you, what's the best part of being in the MOA program? Oh my gosh. To pick one thing would be really difficult. Um, we have just grown into such a family. There, there, there aren't many of us. We have maybe around 300 total, um, 30 seniors on campus, so it's literally a family. I can ask any question. I can pursue any science and I have people that'll back me up, people that'll help me no matter what, what subject I'm in, period. It's just there's so much support and spirit there. What's been the most valuable thing for you through this uh, three, four year program that you've been involved with? Um, 
Well, like like saying again, the atmosphere, it's really motivating to be with these kind of people. We're all striving to, you know, be the number one in our class rank and get the most scholarships. And it's just a really motivating atmosphere. It's really invigorating and it's competitive. So it's really nice to be with your friends and we all want to see each other do our do really our best. Tell me what it's been like having the speakers come. It's it's almost like you get to know what it's like to be a scientist. You can it's not just the same person talking like your teachers like teachers are totally different than scientists because they're in a different mindset. But when they come and they tell you about something that they they devoted their lives to and you see the happiness in their eyes like you can it makes you really understand what knowing what you want to do means. I feel like if anyone's deciding between MOA and any other high school, they should choose MOA because if we are looking for bright minds of all kinds, you do not have to just like science to become a student at MOA. It's, it's not all science. We have great programs for everything and it's just the best experience you can have with friends and teachers and you create a bond with scientists that, are, that devote their life to the fragment of knowledge of the human race. It's just something that you don't get to get at every other high school.